welcome back to another video so it is saturday today and we are getting ready to go have some lunch it's already what's the time i can't see what the time is but anyway it's i don't know it's definitely like almost 11 i think around there anyway so we made this booking like a while ago at the roundhouse to go for lunch it's part of this like restaurant week, restaurant month situation that happens I think like twice a year, maybe more, I don't know, where, you know, like nice restaurants participate in this program thing and then you can like book for better price or like a set menu or whatever the case may be. Anyway, so we always do that and this time we chose the restaurant at the roundhouse and I can't remember the name. Anyway, so we like kind of chilled this morning, didn't do a lot of things, and now we got ready and we're going to head out soon. It's quite windy today and it's like 24 degrees, so it's kind of like in between weather. So I just have like this top on and a jean, nothing like super, super fancy. My hair is still wet and I'm most probably going to leave it to dry by itself because my hair like dries like stick straight in any way. And I have quite a hard time like doing anything like curling it or whatever when it's just freshly washed. It just like falls flat in any way. So there's like no point in doing that. So I'm just going to let it dry. It dries quite quickly-ish, especially if we're going to go out in the wind down. And yeah, that will be fine. Anyway, I just took off all my nails because one broke off. So now I took everything off because... I don't like it when I like walk with one nail off so and I don't want to put more nails on because um, I just don't feel like it right now <laughs> so I'm just gonna go with no nails so yep that's kind of the plan we're gonna go drive through the city and go for the lunch and then I don't know what we're gonna do afterwards I want to make a new sourdough starter like start from scratch because obviously if you did watch my last video it was a complete fail so I kind of I found a different recipe so I want to like kind of try and see if that differs that much from the first one I you know used so we'll see but I want to try and do that I washed out the jar and everything so everything's ready to make a new sourdough starter and I know we might, if the, if there's any time left after the lunch, I know we want to look at sinks for the bathroom. So maybe if any place is still open when we're done with lunch, then we might go and see, you know, like look at different sinks and those kind of things. But I'm, I'm not sure if that's the plan. Um, but yeah, we're kind of taking it slow this weekend it is a long weekend and I don't want to like pack it with like millions of things so this is the only thing that we had pre-planned was this lunch so that's kind of like enough plans for me I don't like to like push everything into it's like exciting oh it's a long weekend there's so many things we can do but then if I do plan too many things I tend to be quite negative about it and then it makes me unhappy so one thing is enough I feel so yeah, anyway, so now I have my bare nails, which doesn't look really nice, to be honest, but maybe tonight I'll like buff it out and stuff. But yeah, we're gonna head out now and I hope it's like worth it because it's still, it's not cheap, these lunches or these, you know, specials, it's still expensive. It's just cheaper than it would normally be. So I, yeah, I hope it's like worth it. Every time we've done this, and we've done this a couple of times, it's been like super worth it and it's really great and it's a good experience and stuff. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, we'll see. I also hope it's not like too packed. It's never nice if there's like too many people. So I hope it's like low key, like chill vibes and so on. But yeah, okay, I'm gonna head out now. To settle down Day nights and late nights Don't get around But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like You're crazy for saying 
just got home and it was actually really really nice the weather on that side of the mountain was super super nice like no wind no nothing so the lunch was very very nice it got quite like packed with people like later on but other than that it was really really nice it was like a five i think it was five courses that we had so our tummies are very full right now and it is now almost four o'clock so i'm thinking we need to go fill up the car with petrol or diesel <clears throat> so we might go do that now i mean because we're anyway driving we might go and take like a small sunset drive maybe if i can convince jason to do that i don't know um yeah but that's kind of it and then when we come back I'm just gonna like do my sourdough starter thing and then we decided on watching a movie tonight because we haven't actually watched a movie in quite some time and we got a new soundbar for the TV so we actually haven't watched like a movie with the new soundbar so we're gonna watch something some classic movie I don't know so I have to debate on who wins choose the movie and that's kind of it for this Saturday so I want to go and try and convince him to go for a drive I don't know how successful I'm going to be if not I'll just go make my sourdough starter and then I want to take a shower I also want to put a face mask on I haven't put one on in a while so I want to do that with my hair up and yeah just like chill anyway this is also how my hair dries so this morning obviously you saw it was wet and yep it like dries like stick straight like that as if I like used a straighten or something which I didn't this is just how it dries so whenever I try to like curl my hair or do something like nice with it Especially after it's just washed, then it just falls like flat. And this isn't anyway what it would have ended up like, even if I did attempt to like curl it or whatever. So, <clears throat> you know, so that's why I just leave it like this. Anyway, okay. I also want to like get out of this clothes and stuff now because it the wind is quite chilly right now. It's not cold, but if you go outside, like the wind chill makes it feel colder than it really is. So I want to just put maybe like a long sleeve top on, especially if we're going to drive by the beach, potentially. Then I just want to be in something a little bit more like warm because I get cold so easily. So, yeah. So I convinced Jason to go for a sunset drive. So I have my Yeti cup and we have some nice cold croix. So. Yay! Let's go chase the sun. I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you. If only you knew I would die for you. One of us, one of us, gotta say the obvious. Nobody loves me. Yeah. I get 
Okay, we are back at the house and the sun is still not down. So, I mean, I call it the sunset drive. It wasn't the sunset drive, it was the drive. And anyway, so it is now 5.30 and I need to get the sourdough going. So I have a different recipe this time just because I feel that the other one I think was fine, but obviously it didn't work properly. So I'm going to try a different recipe and then we'll see if it's a me problem or a recipe problem. But most probably it's a me problem, but anyway. So um, <clears throat> this one says I should use 100 grams of whole wheat flour and 125 grams of water. And it also says don't like seal the lid completely of the jar, but like just like lightly close it. So I'm not going to like lock the jar. And that says for 24 hours. And then tomorrow we might need to leave it. And only on day three we need to start taking out some, some of it and adding some more. Okay. So I do use this whole wheat flour from Checkers. I used it the last time too. So I'm just going to use it again. And then I'm going to use the same jar, which is this one, which is a 1.5 jar. Just one that I got at... Well, checkers as well. I'm just going to use that. And now I have to measure 100 grams. Let me just get my measuring tools. <laughs> Bunny just ran into the bedroom, which he's not allowed to go because we have like our phone chargers and iPad chargers and stuff there. So he's not allowed to go into the bedroom. So usually the door's closed. And I just like slightly open the door because I wanted to ask Jason something about the measuring of the flower and then he like slipped underneath my feet anyway so it's quite a struggle then to get him out because he goes under the bed and then he like chills there and he runs around and he like plays this game and he thinks you're playing a game and it's just you keep on running around the bed so it's quite the nightmare anyway this measuring jar that I got at the Abhishev gives me the exact measurement for flour that is 100 grams so this works quite nicely so I'm just gonna kind of like okay just like that I mean it's a little bit skew but like more or less and then 125 grams of water we could get some water okay i have my water so big jar there you go and i think then i'm just going to use a fork and you kind of just like to do this until like all the clumps and stuff is out I look like I'm like red, but I think it's because we close the blinds and now it's like semi dark in here. So I look like my face is like like red, red. But anyway, it's not. I can promise you that. Anyway, so this is done. That's kind of now what it looks like. And then let's see in two days, a day or two. I'm just going to keep it here in the kitchen. It has quite like a normal temperature in here. So I think it's safe to just leave it in here. Anyway, so I want to eat yeast eggs. So I have a variety. Let me just show you what variety I have. So let's see where I can like munch on because I really feel like chocolate right now and it's Easter. So I guess I'm off the hook. So we got these like little Easter treat houses um, from Woolies, which is quite cute. Um, it has like individually wrapped um, white eggs, which is my favorite, these white eggs. So there's two of that in here. And then a very small packet of spit legs. And then these like normal marshmallow eggs. And then we also still have a box of these marshmallow eggs. And then I also have a lint bunny. So I am thinking that I'm gravitating towards everything except the marshmallow eggs even though Woolies marshmallow eggs are like really tasty 
it's not like my first choice when it comes to like Easter eggs. I think I most probably will go for the white ones and then maybe the speckled eggs, maybe the little bunny, I don't even know. But I'm definitely going to take this to the couch when we watch our movie because I feel like some chocolate. I mean, desperate need of some chocolate. Anyway, so yeah, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Not much else going to happen tonight. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and happy Easter. And I will then see you in my next video. Bye.